So I put together a quick little overview of how Massage Book displays a schedule for a business with multiple massage therapists. I also threw together a couple of tips and tricks on how to get to the information you want and need quickly and easily. So let's take a look. Here's a quick walkthrough of how Massage Book displays a schedule for a massage business that has multiple massage therapists. So if you're someone who uses Massage Book, this might help you. Or if you are curious about using Massage Book, this will give you a little bit more insight into how this app works. We're using the browser version. I am using Chrome in order to get to the website. I found that the browser version works a little bit better than the app version. The app works good if all you have is your phone. So we're gonna sign in and we are using the paid version of Massage Book, of course, and it takes you to your business dashboard. Now I've removed a lot of the business dashboard cards. So let's look at how Massage Book will display a schedule of appointments. We're going to click on this button called schedule and by default it takes us to the view of the week that shows everyone's schedule so it's got the days listed at the top and it starts with the earliest times toward the top the later times towards the bottom and as you see I have to scroll to get all the way to the bottom so one tip that I've found that is helpful is that you can adjust the zoom settings in Google Chrome by going up to Google Chrome settings and finding this zoom button and I zoom out to about 75 to 80 percent and that seems to work pretty good for me I can still read all of the appointments and now I'm able to see the whole day from top to bottom without having to scroll. Now let's look at how to filter down this information. First off, we wanna filter this down for one therapist, a week's view for one therapist. What I'm gonna do is open up this little sidebar and that brings us a calendar and the ability to filter by staff. So what I do is I select deselect all that removes everyone from the view. Then I pick what therapist I want to view. So if I'm looking for myself, I pick my name and it shows the entire week of schedules for my name. So then I can scroll and I can click at the top here and move to the next week. And I can move to the next week or I can click the today button and go back to the week that has today in it. I can also add a therapist to this view if I wanted to see if two people had an opening at the same time. So there's a lot you can do with this view. This is pretty much the main view that works the best for most of us at our office. Let's look at how to filter this for the entire staff. First off, what I'm going to do is click select all and that brings us back to that jumbled week view and now I'm gonna filter it by staff in the top right now this pairs it down to just one day so I'm looking at Thursday it looks like the top heading shows the therapist and closer to the top you have the earlier time frame and toward the bottom you have the later time frame so just as a reminder we are blurring out customer information to retain their privacy just in case you're wondering why things are looking a little blurry but if you use massage book you'll understand what we're looking at so another view that's sometimes helpful is this little block icon which is called timeline view and as we click on timeline view it's very similar to the staff view except that it shows the times earliest times on the left latest times on the right so it displays things in a horizontal fashion and not a vertical fashion so those are the basic views that we use from day to day I'll quickly go through a couple of the 
other options that there are to filter just so that you have an idea of what they look like. The first one we didn't look at was the one called rooms. So if we click on rooms, it shows a list of four rooms vertically. And since we have four rooms, we're able to take four appointments at one time. By default, when someone makes an appointment online, Massage Book will put them in room one, which makes this view not as useful unless you want to go through every time someone makes an appointment online and assign them a room but that gets pretty monotonous so we don't do that and therefore this view is not very helpful to us. The other views we can look at are the day, the week, and the month views. So the day view is similar to the staff view except things aren't filtered by staff and I'm not really sure how to read this. So in our business we don't ever use this view. The week view is the most common view that we use and the month view is similar to Google Calendar in that it will show you the times for each appointment. And once again, this view for a multiple massage therapist office is not very beneficial. So that's a quick overview of how Massage Book displays appointments on their app. I hope this was helpful to you and check back in the future as we're going to have some more tips and tricks videos on how to use Massage Book. So if you have any questions or comments about how Massage Book works or what you'd like to see a video about in the future, let me know in the comments section. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future.